there. So the last two lessons, we were talking about a brown coin. Remember that brown coin was called a penny. And the penny has President Lincoln on the heads. And it has, it's called the Lincoln Memorial on the tails. And this brown coin was only worth one cent. And we also talked about another coin with that. And that coin was called the nickel. And it's our medium-sized coin with Thomas Jefferson on the front. and Or on the head, sorry. And his house on the tails. And the nickel was worth, do you remember? Five cents. Good job. And we learned yesterday about this. It's one of our letters. It's at the start of Christian's name and Stella's last name. And it is the letter C. So we write a lowercase c. And then to know that it's not just the letter C and that we're using it in math, we draw a line from the top of the C down to the bottom, and that means cents. So if you remember from yesterday, that tells us how much money we have. So today we're gonna to talk about two new coins. And these coins are also silver. So we have three silver coins that we're gonna be talking about. So the first coin that I wanna to talk to you about is our, it's the smallest size coin. You can see it. This silver coin is called the dime. And on the heads we have, this is in our presidents, he was President Franklin Roosevelt. And on the back, we have a torch with some olive branches. So heads is our president and tails is the torch. So the dime is worth 10 cents. So when we're looking later, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna draw a small circle that has the letter D in it. And when you see that, that means we're talking about the dime. The other coin that I'm gonna to talk to you about, this is the biggest coin that we're gonna talk about in kindergarten. And this coin is called the quarter. And on the front, we have President George Washington with heads. And on the tails, we have, on most quarters, we have an eagle which is the bird for the whole United States, national bird. On some quarters, they have different states or different parks. So if you see a quarter that has a different state or a park on the back, as long as it has George Washington on the front, that does mean it's a quarter. And our quarter equals 25 cents. So what we're gonna do Is we're going to do a practice and we are going to be looking for pennies and nickels and quarters and dimes. And what I want you to do is that we're going to be counting them to see how many of each we have. So the first one I want you to do is your look. The pennies are in purple and nickels are in green. So the dimes and the quarters. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the pennies. So I'm gonna write a P. You will see pennies on yours. And I'm gonna count how many pennies I have. So I see one. So I'm gonna X through it. I'm gonna draw one penny there. And then I see two. So I'm gonna X to that one. Another penny there. So I think that's all the pennies that I have. And there we go. The next one I'm going to look at is that nickel, and I'm going to use the green for the nickel. So the nickel, let's see. See one nickel here, so I'm going to put an X and draw one nickel, two nickels. These X's are looking funny, Mrs. Carmody. And I see one more green one. Two, 
All right. And now you see I have points. We have dimes left and we have quarters left. So the next one I want us to do is the dime. All right. So these are real coins, so I can't really draw X's, but I'm gonna draw an X underneath them as we count them. So here is our smallest dime. So we're gonna draw an X for the dime. One dime. Two. So we have five dimes. And remember that dime is worth 10 cents. And the last coin, I'll write this one in purple. I used the black in the wrong one, sorry about that. Is our quarter, and quarter starts with Q. So we'll write a Q for quarter. So we have one quarter. So when you're doing this on your paper, you're going to be circling the number of coins that you count on the top. So you have to make sure you're paying attention to which ones are the, the quarters, the nickels, and the dimes. Good luck and talk to you soon.